Our vision is to recruit, to develop, to assess, to train, and educate the world's best leaders. at 3 30 we're your host Damn. hey that <laughs> oh my god we just started bro i didn't see the thing did you see the countdown nah. hey that 3 30 we're your host i'm cadet minor and i'm cadet edwards and this is your debt 3 30 news in between the lines here's a recap of events and news from the past month of february first let's take a look at extended training day etd took place this past month and led by our very own cadet Pacini from day zero from land exercises to underwater training, our cadets were challenged both physically and mentally. Here's what Cadet Ficini had to say about the event. Hey everybody, my name is Cadet Ficini, Phase Zero Commander. A couple weeks ago we had ETD, which is Extended Training Day. It was a four hour session where we did calisthenics, weight training, and pool time. Next Saturday, 19 March, we're going to be doing another ETD. Come through, we're going to have a little bit more log PT and combatives. want to see you there. Stay hard. We appreciate all that you had to say, Cadet Pacini. Great job posting that event. With that being said, remember, line, discipline equals freedom. Keep up the great work, Cadets. As you all know, it was Black History Month last month. The Debt's mission for the month was to share some things about Black history, which isn't generally known to the public. For instance, did you know that Mae Jemison was one in 15 people chosen out of over 2,000 applicants for the astronaut space program? And now she's leading the 100-year Starship project funded by DARPA. In other news, Debt 330 is one of the only detachments involved in the United States Air Force Academy's I-5 program. The program is a rapidly advancing organization to prepare cadets for a career in the Space Force and Joint Force through education, networking, and hands-on experience. Becoming an I-5 detachment means that access to the digital branding, such as logos, as well as brand recognition we have established within the space community. I-5 has the attention of senior leaders within the Space Force, such as General John J. Raymond and Lieutenant General Vice Commander of the U.S. Spacecom, Whoa. as well as members of the greater space community, such as Bill Wolf, founder of Space Force Association. Um, and the I-5 team will also work with you to get I-5 gear, such as patches, coins, t-shirts, and more for your members. To gain more insight on Lee Lab, we are joined by Cadet Miles, who is the Charlie Flight Commander, and Cadet Giordano, who is this semester's Deputy OG Commander. And they are here to tell us about their experience and what they're working on during the lab. Hi, this is Cadet Miles, the Charlie Flight Commander for this semester. This semester I've had a great time training a bunch of 100s in IMT. The GMC have been awesome to work with. It's been great to see people grow throughout the semester. We've gotten to work on a lot of different things from the basics like standing at attention and parade rest to also more advanced things like column movements, FDEs, and road guard procedures. It's been great to see people come out of their shell and challenge themselves, and I hope they feel like I'm making an impact on them. This semester in OG, one of our main goals was to be able to master the basic expectations that IMT need in order to be successful for their FTP semester. We've also been training FTP cadets to master the basic expectations, instill discipline and professionalism, and be proficient in all the objectives needed in order to be successful at field camp. We are very proud of all of the GMC cadets that are being trained, as well as the trainers and all the OG staff that is helping all of that happen. We'll see you next, Lead Lab. We love to see it. The next piece of information is directed towards the AS 200s, 250s, and 500s. The EAs are expected to come in early March, so stay sharp. This may be a stressful time for some of you, so it's important to check on your fellow wingmen. Don't lower your standards just because you receive an EA or don't receive an EA. If you receive an EA, be there for your wingman who didn't. And to those who did not receive an EA, remember that success is not final, failure is not fatal, and it's the courage to continue that counts. Moving on to our alumni portion of this, it is important to remember those who came before us. And today, we are joined by Detachment 330 alumni, 2nd Lieutenant Abdul Lagori, who will tell us what he's doing now since commissioning and to offer any advice to our wing. 
Hey, how's it going, Death 330? This is uh, Lieutenant Abdullah Gori. I'm in AS400 at Maps Point. How's it going, Death 330? This is Second Lieutenant Abdullah Gori, and I'm currently stationed at Laughlin Air Force Base as a pilot trainee. So I commissioned in December of 2020, and I EAD'd in June of 2021, but I still haven't started pilot training. So that kind of shows you that there's a long wait time for pilot training. So if you're going to be a pilot trainee, just know that from the time you EAD to the time you start, you may have a lot of time. So right after I commissioned, I knew that my EAD, my interactive duty date, was not going to be uh, for another six months. So what I did was I reached out to employers and I tried to find a good job. And what it came down to was I had a friend who was able to refer me to his employer. And I went through there. And so he got a referral bonus for signing me up. I got a job much quicker than most people might. I think within a month of starting to apply, I had found a job and I was really, really lucky. I hi highly recommend that route. If you have friends and you have networks, everyone has friends, but if you have the, r the right networks, then try to use those to your advantage and, and make the most of that time that you will have. One piece of advice that I have for you all, which is one thing that I struggled with, and if I could change it, I would, is after you commission, and before you EAD, you really want to start setting a routine for yourself. Start waking up early, eat at the right time, work out as often as you can, and start to cater your days towards what you want your life to look like once you're active duty. Because even though it was rest, I was being very lazy and I started to fall off from a routine. And once I EAD, it kind of started to reflect on my job once I got here. Thank you for listening to what I had to say there and uh, keep grinding, make it through the finish line. And then, which is really a, a start line, if you really think about it, I really hope that all of you succeed in whatever you guys want to do. And if things change, don't worry about it. That's the Air Force life. Things will always change. What you may have wanted in the beginning might not be what you end up with, but show with the punches. And as long as you have a good attitude, I promise you, you will have a good Air Force career. Thank you for your time and your service, Lieutenant Gorey. Now we'll be going to Cadet Austin, who will be speaking to us briefly about his experience during his time meeting and listening to the Secretary of the Air Force, who spoke at Detachment 130. Hi, Wing. This is Cadet Austin, Mentorship Officer for the semester. I'm going to talk about uh, our visit and talk uh, in, conjunction, in conjunction with Det 130 in Washington, D.C., uh, with the Secretary of the Air Force, the Honorable Frank Kendall III. Two things that I took away uh, from that talk with uh, the secretary is that, first of all, leadership is not necessarily displayed or taught in words, but also in actions. The fact that the secretary was willing to take out time from his morning at 0700 and be with us cadets, some of us who are not even on the Air Force's payroll yet, and willing to share his experience, his tips, his guidance, and listen through some of our uh, tough questions and uh, share with us his experience and what he wants to see from the officers moving forward in the Air Force. Uh, really taught me about uh, making sure that even if you're on the top top of an organization that you still look after and engage with those who may just be starting and may not even uh, make it into the program. I thought that that was a great lesson on leadership uh, and a way uh, to show that he really cares about each and every member of this family. Uh, and then the second thing was something that the secretary touched on in, in answering one of the questions is just the need uh, for understanding uh, the diverse backgrounds of all the airmen uh, in, in the Air Force. We come from a amazing, uh, diverse background, uh, something that we've never seen before in our military and our forces. And we have to engage and appreciate that um, and really try to understand one another. And when we do that, not only are we going to uh, be better for it, uh, but we will be, be able to um, target and accomplish the mission in ways we have never uh, seen before. Um, once again, thank you to Debt 130 and the Secretary uh, for that visit, um, and we're looking forward to other great opportunities uh, in Air Force ROTC. And right now we're going to talk about mentorship. Um, today, Lead Lab 6, we had a great opportunity for all the cadets in the wing to sit down with their mentors and mentees uh, in larger groups and really uh, meet face-to-face, -face, some for the first time and really open up about their journeys and what they uh, are doing here in ROTC and also in college. Um, 
it, there was some really thought provoking and uh, engaging conversation. And um, it seemed like a really great opportunity and a great stepping stone um, for uh, mentorship to continue throughout the wing, uh, both ROTC related and also uh, beyond uh, degree related uh, in the wing throughout the semester. Additionally, we had some coffee hours and other events that we look forward to having for the rest of the semester. Uh, looking forward to some great mentorship this semester and uh, stay engaged, folks. Have a great lead lab. Thanks for that, Cadet Hobson. Last but not least, we have a message from both Major Harness and Cadet Wilborn. Hey, Wing. I'm Cadet Wilborn, your Chief of Staff. I go to George Mason University, majoring in chemistry with a concentration of biochemistry. My role as Chief of Staff is to work with Cadet Byfield and Cadet Smith to plan the operations of the Wing and to oversee the group commander. So we're going to be talking about a little monthly wrap-up. So GMC, you've been working on phase one and phase two of your OG training. IMT, you've been kind of honing your skills in, ba in basic drill and then moving into advanced drill. And then FTP, you've been mastering your advanced drill and then get getting ready for field training. POC, you've been doing a lot of great international relations discussions, feedback, as well as moving into your mentorship roles within the mentorship program in the detachment. So now that we've closed out February, what are you going to do moving forward, moving into March into the rest of the semester? I really want you all to keep the drive. Definitely dig deep. Lean on your wingmen. I know this is a tough time. Midterms are coming up. But definitely just keep digging deep and take the time to rest when you need to. So if you ever have any questions for me, I'm always around the hallways on Thursdays usually. But if you go to George Mason, feel free to message me, and I'd love to meet up with you for mentorship. But yeah, keep, keep doing what you're doing, Wing. You're doing a great job. Hello, Debt 330. This is Major Blake Harness, your operations officer. Great job this month. I've seen a lot of great things in effort this semester. You're working really hard, and we are seeing continuous improvement. I have two goals for you next month. One is to keep working on teamwork. I want you to work with each other to identify strengths and weaknesses in your teammates. You need to capitalize on your teammates' strengths and help build up the areas that need improvement. The second goal is to keep working on your prioritization skills. You have a lot going on. You have to manage school, work, personal lives, and ROTC. I know it can be tough. Learning how to balance all of the things is hard. Remember, school has to be number one. If you don't graduate, then you can't be an officer. Keep your eyes on the prize. Lastly, my advice to you going forward is to stay positive. A good attitude will take you a long way. There are some things coming down the pike that might be tough for you. Support each other and focus on opportunities. Again, I am proud of the progress you guys are making. Keep working hard, Debt 330. And that concludes this month's news on In Between the Lines. Remember to take care of yourselves, and as always, Aim high, Airmen. You don't have to lie. I see it in your eyes. Hey, girl. Trying to freestyle? <laughs> Recognition. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Valerie trying to cook on me. Uh. I told her I thought her looked like a Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, no Tiffany. Uh. Sydney got the bag on her. Uh. I said, minor, no Sydney. Uh. What an epiphany. Uh. She got word? a bag, no Tiffany. Oh, okay. Uh. I'm about to rhyme. <laughs> Get a symphony. Guys. Get her. Uh. Uh. Minor uh. on uh. the. Be uh, what, uh, what? Uh, what you want to do, what you got to say. This is my game. I'm going to do it. Uh, 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 50, 30, uh, whole life. Yeah, that's fire, that's fire. That's fire, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Is that recording? Coming out by us. That was recording. <laughs> <laughs> Go with this. You're going to have to add me to look good in this lighting. Hello, Debt 330. This is Major Blake Harness. Your operation stop. Too fast. Me, 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 me. Now there's a plane. Oh, it's a helicopter. Never mind. Post your eyes in the air power. I'm saying. Oh, I hate the sound of my voice. We're your hosts. I'm Cadet Minor. Oh, I didn't. I thought I thought you was gonna introduce me. I wasn't. No, it's Hi, I'm Cadet Miles. Wait, that was awkward. No, we're gonna do that. I felt that. Hi. Hi, okay.
good. Take your time. No. Take your time. No. Breathe, bro. This is a milestone. You want me to do this is a milestone. Do do Such as logos as well as the brand recognition we have established. Five detachment means access to digital branding such as logos as well as the brand that can recognition. The recognition part, you be rapping, bro. bro. <laughs> 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 <Recognition>. <laughs>